this angle. Hi, hi everybody. I'm uh, over here on the uh, obviously Comedy Road Small Youth in Birmingham. Uh, I've got with me Donna. Yeah. Uh, Donna's um, a working girl. Uh, I don't want to use the P word because I don't think it's a very nice word to use. Um, it's true though, isn't it? And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, Donna's been kind enough to obviously talk to me. Uh, and, and, you know, it's coming from the horse's mouth, if you like this. Uh, why she does what she does, why she has to go and sell herself, you know, because of the habit she's in. Mm -hmm. Donna, what, what, how long have you been doing this for? On, on, I started, oh God, it's got to be, I've been mixed up in, in this kind of lifestyle for at least 14 years. I'm 35 this year. And how did you start? What, what actually, what, what made you start taking drugs? Just put in the wrong situation, wrong people. Like, I was put in a hostel. Do you know what I mean? I got no, like, I lost my daddy, he was my only family, got put in a hostel, so I was a bit damn depressed. And it was just surrounded by the wrong people, alcoholics, um, people on drugs, stuff like that. And it's just, it, it's easy, they seem fine when they, you, you know, you, when you're young, you don't realise, and then you take it, and before you know it, when you wake up and you're in that pain, it's just that. Yeah, and this is this got, is yeah. heroin that you've been taking. Yeah, yeah. So that you would you've been doing heroin for 14 years on and off, yeah. On and off, yeah. Now, I was clean for three and a half years in the middle, yeah. Now, so you resorted to prostitution when? Right. Well, I've been back on it. Well, I've been back on about a year now. Prostitution. I was clean three and a half years, and about two years before then, yeah. Yeah. Because I used to shoplift at first, but uh, you just get to jail and it. It doesn't help, you know, they think, oh, get to jail, you'll come out clean. No, because you're surrounded by people that are on drugs saying, I can't wait to get out and get this, I can't wait to get out and get that, and it's just in your head, in that cell, and you just want it more while you're in jail. Yeah, yeah. And you got as soon as I come out of jail, the first thing I did was spend my money on it. Yeah. I think if you got to get clean... You, you, you got to get on the methadone and that to do it. So but it's hard because so, so you're working all night, so then you're sleeping all day, and you're missing, like, that's when the appointments, that's when normal people are up and about, the people that can help you. And I think the drug people think you're just lazy or you can't be bothered or... Or if you... You know when you wake up, you're going to start being in withdrawal, so you want to sleep till it gets dark. Donna? Physical pain, panic, and which gets worse as the hours go by, bit by bit. So if you don't take the heroin, that's what happens, physical pain? Yeah, you're sick. You, your body will do everything it can to make you get that drug. And it will just get worse and worse and worse. When I'm about six hours in, I feel like killing myself. I swear to God, I'm in panic. Mm. Like, panic. And that's how and I then started you have to, doing that, this. And then you have to come out onto the streets and obviously do what you have to do. And it became do. quick, easy money then, shoplifting, yeah. Okay, so you resorted to what? Shoplifting first and then prostitution? Yeah, but when you're in withdrawals, if a customer to come up and just quickly five minutes bend over, get done, it's not like everybody thinks, you know, like kissing and hugging and I'm on top going, yeah, give me more, do you know what I mean? It's a quick, lower your trousers, hurry up, mate, gone. Instead of going in, risking shoplifting, then selling the stuff, walking around, trying to sell it. And it's all, so it was just easy money. It, so like, I, I, I take it you're not enjoying this? No. Not, not at all, is it? No, I was nearly killed. I come off it three and a half years ago in that park over there. I went in with somebody. The me. park that Donna's referring to is a small leaf park where yeah. we cleaned up. And it wasn't even that far in. There was people on the streets and nobody come when I was screaming. Nobody did. Mm. He come in, he was nice as pie. He gave me 20 quid. Which I should have known then, because Randy then only want to pay about 10, 15. So when he's just keeps saying, here, have the 20. He's done the business, everything's fine. Took my phone number. I've, I've said, see you later. I've took three steps away and I've just tackled to the floor. Next minute, you know, there's a brick on my head. Oh, God, he, 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 oh, I'm lucky to be alive, basically. If someone hadn't have come and walked past, I would have been dead. The last thing I remember is him strangling me. And I just thought, <laughs> you, you fucked it now, girl, do you know what I mean? You, you picked a bad one, do you know what I mean? So this it was, is the, it, this was left, the warning you were of left the for job, dead. basically. You, yeah. I just remember him strangling me after the beating for, oh, my God, he whacked me up a metal fence, he stamped up me. He beat me that much that I remember. He was tired, he couldn't punch no more. I remember him standing like this, like, getting his breath, and I was trying to crawl away, and he grabbed my hand, he was whacking me up a fence. And then when he was strangling me, I must have passed out because the next meeting I just remember someone saying, don't move, love, um, there's a lot of blood. And I just remember gripping the man's foot and I was just like, please don't leave me. He said, no, he's gone, I've chased him off. 
But then this is the joke too, right? The bloke helps me up to the hostel, boards the green memory bee, and he turns up two days later and said, you know, I saved your life the other day, I bet a freebie. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, that's how you sin, you know? Yeah. And, and that degrades the, the, you as the, well the, the as the drugs. The disrespect. Yeah, you're disrespecting yourself. So you, you're not clean, you man. Know My fingernails are dirty, man. Show me the show me in the camera. Just you, know, you lose respect if you're not about dirt or damn. Like you, you just feel like you don't deserve to. You know what I mean? You, you know, all these will drive past you dirty, prostrate, dirty, whore, and and you and you do. You see yourself like you know you don't deserve nothing better. You right, deserve okay. to just carry on, and then that. I would like, I would like to remind, more. obviously, for the video, that you're doing this purely because you're on a drug. Yeah, you or purely of need the drug. money to feed this drug yeah. habit. You're not going out Before there I, yeah. to doing doing this for pleasure no. or for any other purpose. Before oh, what, I got what about on this drug, person? I had a nine to five job. I was taking driving lessons, going to Spain, renting a house. I had a fella, two cats. Do you know what I mean? Going bingo on a on a Saturday night. I had a life, I had a life, now it's just <clears throat> drugs, that's all I care about, from the mum, like, get the money and get drugs to sleep, all I'm worried about is what's going to happen in six hours time when that wears off, and I'm, I've got to start all over again and get money for the next one. It's just, it's a mad and cycle, isn't it? And that's all it is, that's all it is. That's a mad, mad cycle. That's that you're obviously all going it to... is. Tell me about the, the, the people that visit you, tell me the people that stop on the road. Who are they? What, what? You know, you don't need to give me any names, but you know, are these are these white men? Are they Asian men? Why are they? The, the, being a mainly Asian, so yeah, sorry, be, being a mainly Asian area here, it's mainly Asian blokes. But you do get black blokes and, and white blokes, but I, I won't deal with, deal with them. I don't know. I, Asian men just they want it low profile. They want it quick. Just do it quick, five minutes, and, and just go take your money and go. So it's 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 the, easier the Asian, money. The Asian, Asian, and Asian it's guys are, yeah, they're more scared of getting caught than yeah. yourself. You mean, yeah? Because being an Asian there and everyone knowing everybody, they just wanna. So if a black man stops or a white man, I, I just say no. I just say I ain't gonna waste your time because it's. You know, black men make you proper work for your money, which I don't want to be doing. I don't mm. want to be there doing it for ages. I just less touching and, and just quickly do it and go that's all i want so i'll yeah. just deal with my asian men but being an asian area uh, is many asian people and you're, you're you're obviously you told me that you're working with safe project yeah i worked with them years ago and i came clean yeah and i moved out the area got a, got a job and everything went fat you want to recognize me i was in the size 16 to 18. Mm. and then i split up with the bloke because we've come back to birmingham and then the council because i've got no kids or i'm not sick um, their job to home yeah, is to just put a roof over the over your head so it's into a hostel and yeah. hostels are in these kind of areas and then I'm back surrounded by the problem that I've tried so hard to get away from. So you're, and, what, and you're, what you're saying is where you're living, the, the people are taking drugs or alcoholics yeah. and it puts you yeah, back into that does, sort of rhythm does, of life. It was only a matter of time before I couldn't, you know, they moved me back in in a hostel. It weren't the post green one, it was... Well, it was a shared house, but everyone in there was a drinker and on the drugs. <clears throat> and it was only a matter of time, only a matter of time. Well, you know what, from the bearded bros, we, we, we wish... I was going to say something as well, the three and a half years I was clean, hmm. I thought about the drug every day. Every and single in that day, but mad, you never took it? In that drag, nah, but I, I moved away from, from where it all was, I got on the methadone and since that bloke came out, I moved away and I started my life again where nobody knew me, nobody knew my past and stuff like that and I started again. Mm. You know what, the, the, you know what? The, there I is support to, out there isn't there? Oh yeah, you know the Safe yeah? Project are brilliant the same and they project were a really lot good. better before Scar yeah. that see whatever Scarlet House took over and yeah. made it all there because they haven't got a clue. They're the reason I lost my methadone and ended up because I, I was on the methadone scripting. Yeah, I was in a smoker's house, but I was saying no. I, I, all I'd have was a bottle of wine a night. That was it. I, I went and I weren't even like alcoholic. I, I probably wouldn't even drink all the bottle of wine. It was a bottle of wine, watch a movie, and I was happy. Mm. And it was a bank holiday, and that scarlet house messed my script up for the four days. And if you miss your methadone for three days, you script your stop, and then you have to start again, wait for an assessment, see a doctor. Mm. And then obviously you get withdrawals off methadone <coughs> as well. Okay. So I had to take the drug and, and for them four days and I haven't been able to get... People watching this, right? People watching this, I think it's really important for them to know.
that you're still human right oh, and yeah, we're, we're still we're, we're still here to help you because i think mm -hmm. you know you, you're exploited for for the drug that you choose yeah. and uh, the the men are the ones that we need to stop uh, from coming around here and you obviously need help yeah, you need we, to get off we this do. we're gonna we're gonna we recommend you to save project to encourage, probably we are encouraging them, them i don't know from being here but i don't know what house get get to are you going to go home there. now? You're not going to. You're not going to be on I'm the gonna, streets now, are you? No, nah, I'm going to get food. We'll get you the food. Home. Don't worry. Cool. Thank you ever so much for talking to me. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's alright. If I can help in any way, I will. Thank you so much. Thank I you. Will, yeah.